Hello everyone, I'm Connor, and today I'll be presenting the solution to the Yusuko February 2024 Silver Contest Problem 1, Target Practice 2. In this problem, we have a bunch of targets, and you want to position some cows along the y-axis such that they're going to be able to shoot at the corners of these targets. For instance, this is the sample case, where you have two targets. One of them is this large rectangle down here, other one is this smaller square on top. And we want to place these cows in such a way such that they shoot at these targets given their slopes. For instance, we could place the cow with slope negative 1 here at y equals 7, and I would have it shoot downwards at a slope of negative 1 to hit the target at the coordinates 1, 6. We could also place the cow with slope 3 uh, at y equals 1, that way it shoots at the target with coordinates 1, 4. Once we finish placing all the cows, we want to find the minimum possible distance between the highest cow and the lowest cow. One thing to note is that cows are not allowed to shoot through these targets. For instance, if you tried to place the slope 1 cow here to shoot at this target, or at this corner, it would go through this target, meaning it's invalid, so we can't place the slope 1 cow towards that one. So how can we solve this problem? Well, let's make a few observations first. One observation we can make is that for these corners on the far edge, uh, the top corner cannot be hit by a cow with positive slope, because any cow with positive slope would have to come up through the target to hit it. Similarly, on the bottom corner, any cows with negative slope would be unable to hit it, because it would have to go through the target through, through the top. This means we have to always assign a cow with positive slope, or sorry, always assign a cow with negative slope to the top corner, and always a cow, assign a cow with positive slope to the bottom corner. Another observation we can make is on the left corners, we always want to place the negative slope cows as low down as possible, and the positive slope cows as high up as possible. This is because, for instance, if we have a negative slope here, and a positive slope here, and it's actually more optimal to swap these and have the negative slope one further down and the positive slope one further up. And this minimizes the distance between them. With these two observations, we can now start placing the cows. We know that to hit these top right corners, you must have negative cows, and there are n top right corners in total. So for these corners, we need to, we need to assign n uh, negative slope cows. And if there are less than n negative slope cows, then we know immediately that our problem is impossible because there won't be enough cows to assign to these corners. Also, we know that we need to assign n positive slope cows to the bottom left, bottom, bottom right corners because, again, the negative slope cows can't hit those. So we need at least n positive slope cows. After we assign those cows, we'll have some cows left over to put on the left side. Uh, and to assign these, we want to assign the positive slope ones as high as possible, and the negative slope ones as low as possible. So this means that we're going to assign the bottommost uh, negative cows left over. Um, so for, in the, for instance, in this problem, there are going to be two negative cows left over. So we assign the bottom two vertices to be negative cows. And we're going to assign the remaining top two vertices to be the positive cows. And note that when we do assign the positive and negative slope cows, we can actually treat them entirely separately. What we want to do is we want to minimize, uh, or we want to maximize where the positive slope cows will end up. Or we want to maximize the furthest down positive slope cow and minimize the highest of negative slope cow. This is just saying that like instead of having a negative two slope cow here, we might want to have like a negative one slope cow instead. And this way we minimize the distance that we need to go to where the positive cows will end up. This way we can treat the two types of cows completely separately, and we can solve the problem for both. And in fact, there's some pretty nice symmetry where just solving the negative cows is going to be the same as solving the negatives of all the positive cows. Now that we have what the types of the cows will be, let's try and figure out how we actually place the cows. One way we might think of doing this is using a greedy solution, where we just try to assign the lowest slopes to the highest points. 
However, this doesn't really quite work. Let's say we had a negative one slope cow. Intuitively, we want to place this on the lowest point possible so that it ends up as low on the y-axis as possible. In this case, we would want to choose this point over the other one because it has a lower y-coordinate. However, this doesn't quite work. If we see where on the y-axis we'll have to end up to hit this point, we see that it actually has to end up higher than if we chose this point instead. So we can't quite use a greedy algorithm for this problem. We can't even really use any kind of sorting either because different points are going to be optimal for different cows. Let's say we had a cow with like zero, negative 0 0.1 slope, which isn't actually possible in this problem, but bear with me. If we had a negative 0 0.1 slope cow, then placing at this point would lead to it being there, and placing it at this point would lead to it being somewhere there. So in this case, the lower down point actually is optimal, while for the negative one slope cow, it isn't. Instead of using a greedy algorithm, let's try using some wishful thinking. Let's say that we had some kind of hard ceiling on how high the cows could be placed. So in this case, let's say that we can't place any cows above y equals 3. Well, this means that for each point, uh, there's going to be a maximum, or in this case, a minimum slope that each cow must have. So let's see, for this point, for instance, if we have a cow over here, this is going to be our maximum slope, which means that uh, we have that a cow must have slope at least negative two thirds to be touching this point, because anything like closer to zero than two thirds will be able to reach this point. For this point, we must, must have a slope of at least negative one, anything less or greater than negative one, because these are negative numbers. Anything greater than negative one is going to be able to reach its point. And if we had, say, a point here, uh, a cow must have slope at least negative two to reach this point. Anything less than negative two, like negative three, for instance, would result in the cow above this maximum line. Now that we have this list of minimum slopes, we can actually this actually makes us able to use a greedy algorithm because we can assign we can sort the slopes in order, uh, and then we can simply assign them to the cows in order. And in this case, we can, for instance, assign the slope negative two thirds to a cow slope negative point two, negative one to a cow slope negative point five, and negative two to a cow slope negative one point five. And this assignment will work. It would look something like this. And if we, if one of the cows could not be matched properly, like let's say this cow had slope negative three or something, so these two can't be matched. If we know that these two can't be matched in this way, then we know that assigning these cows with this maximum line is going to be impossible. So for this one, we can't assign a cow all the way up from there. So coming back a bit to the problem, we don't actually have this maximum line, but we see that if we did have this maximum line, then the problem would become easier to solve. So we're going to use a strategy called binary search on the answer. And what this strategy means is that we're going to try and choose this maximum line such that it's as low as possible, because if our maximum line is as low as possible, and for the positive cows, the minimum line is high as possible, then that means we have our optimal answer. And the binary search part means that we're just going to run binary search on the possible maximum lines, so that way we can solve it pretty quickly. For instance, if we were to do binary search for the answer on the range from 0 to 10, where our real answer is 3, first we would try checking to see if it's possible with 5. In this case, it wouldn't be, so we decrease this down to a lower number, like 2. In this case, that would be possible. So then we go up, and then we eventually find that uh, 3 is possible, and 4 is impossible. So in this case, then we would be able to output that our real answer is 3. So we're just binary searching on the range of possible answers to find what our correct one is. And again, in order to check whether an answer is correct, or whether an answer is possible, we can run this algorithm from above where we just find all the maximum possible slopes, and then we can match them up with the sorted cows. 
And remember that we need to do this for both positive and negative counts. So once we do it again on the negative counts, then we'll be able to find our answer by subtracting them. So in this case, if we had 3 for the positive counts, and we had negative 2 for the negative counts, then this would give us an overall answer of 5. So let's quickly recap our solution. The first thing we do is we partition our points into positive and negative. If you recall, our upper right points are always going to be negative slope, bottom right points are always going to be positive slope, and the points on the left, we assign all of the bottom points to negative slope counts and all the top points to positive slope counts. Next, we do the same steps for positive and negative counts. We need to binary search for our answer, and to see if a certain answer works, we find the maximum slope for each point, and then we sort the points and check against the cows to see if we can assign the cows to those points. And there's some more minute details that I will go over when we look at the code in a moment. Let's look at the time complexity for this solution. This first step here, where we partition the points, takes O and log n time, because we need to sort the points by their y coordinate in order to choose which ones go to the, po the positive and negative counts. Next, we need to do our binary search for the answer, and this is going to be O of log max. And the max is the maximum possible value of our answer, and this is going to be 10 to the 18 in our case, because the highest stuff we'd ever need to place a cow is at y equals 10 to the 18. And we can place it down at 10 to the negative 18 as well. So and inside checking if our answer works, finding the maximum slope for each point takes O of n, and then sorting and checking against the cows takes O of n log n. And this is inside the O of log max root loop, so our overall runtime is going to be O of n log n log max. And this is going to be a little bit large, which is why they which is probably why they increase the time limits specifically for this problem. So now let's look at the code. So here's my C++ code for this problem. First thing we do is some input reading. And immediately in the input reading, I'm starting to split the points into the tops and bottoms. For instance, here, I push the top points, so this would be the top right point, into the top array, and I push the bottom right point into the bottom array. And note that I invert the Y coordinate of the bottom because I'm going to be calling the same function to do binary searching on the negative and positive counts. And to do this, we need to flip all of the slopes of the negative cows, or rather, we're going to be flipping all the slopes of the positive cows, and we're going to be inverting the y coordinates of the bottom points. Next thing I do is I read in all the cows, and again, I split these into their positive and negative slopes. So I put the positive cows in the positive slope vector, making inverting the slopes so that's negative. And I push the negative cows into the negative vector. Next, I do our check here, where we check to see whether we have enough positive and negative cows to be able to assign it. So for instance, we need at least n positive cows and at least n negative cows. Otherwise, we know it's immediately impossible, and we can just print negative 1. Now we need to partition the left side into the left top and left bottom. So we sort them by their coordinates, and these are all going to have the same x-coordinates, so this sorts it by the y-coordinates. And then we assign the first, uh, we assign all the remaining top cows, or negative cows, to the tops, and the positive cows to the bottoms. And the names are a little bit misleading here. We're going to be pushing all the lowest points on into the tops array, and the, all the highest points to the bottoms array making sure to take the negatives. The next thing we do is we do our binary search for the answer. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute, but once we find our minimum top and our maximum bottom, then we can just get our answer by subtracting them. I do a little assert to make sure that the answer makes sense, and then I print out the answer. So that's like the main part of the function. Now here's the binary search function. So we take in a list of the points that we're going to be assigning the cows to, and we take in the list of the slopes. First of all, we check to make sure that they're equal, and they should be. And then we sort our slopes maximum to minimum. 
And since they're negative, this means that we're sorting it from lowest absolute value to highest absolute value. So actually do our binary search. And to do this binary search, we maintain what's called an invariant. So we make sure that the, the remember that this is like the maximum line that we can put these cows on. So we want to make sure that the one, the coordinate at low never works, and the coordinate at high always works. So while these coordinates are different, then we find the middle point. This is just standard binary search stuff. We find the middle point. We check our answer to see if we can place the cows in that way. If we can, then we know it works, so we set high to that. If we can't, then we know it doesn't work, so we place low to that. And then we want to return an answer, so we return high. So here's our function that checks whether a certain answer works. So we take in our points, we take in our slopes, and we also take in this value, which is going to be our maximum line for the slope. So for each point, we want to solve for what's the maximum possible slope. And to that, we use this formula here. You can see the derivation here. And then this is going to give us the maximum slope for each point, which then we push into this array. We want to sort these, again, uh, minimum absolute value to maximum absolute value, since these are all negative. And then we go through all of them. We, see, we check to see if we can assign the cows to that slopes. If at any point uh, the slope's going to be too, if at any point the slope it doesn't work, then we return false. And if all the slopes work, then we can return true. And this will be able to check whether these cows can be assigned with this maximum slope. One thing to note is I have this infinity value here. This is two times 10 to the 18. And since in the very worst case where we have a point all the way at x equals 1, 10 to the 9, and we have a cow with slope 10 to the 9. This could result in a worst case point of 10 to the 18. And I set infinity to be 2 times 10 to the 18 just to have a little bit of buffer room. So yeah, that there is my solution to problem one of silver this February contest. Thank you for watching.